James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had a huge, what looks like to be a backside large X solar flare, but it's peppering planet Earth. Although it's headed in the opposite direction. Look at this explosion here on Lasco C3. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I had more up-to-date information, but this is as live as they will give me. Far side coronal mass ejection peppers Earth with hard protons. Something large just exploded on the far side of the sun, and it managed to touch Earth. Debris from the blast emerged in the form of a full halo coronal mass ejection shown here in a movie from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory or SOHO, Lasco C3. Shockwaves at the leading edge of the coronal mass ejection are accelerating protons and spraying them throughout the solar system. Some of those protons are raining down on Earth right now. NOAA's GOES-18 satellite is monitoring an intensifying S1-class solar radiation storm rich in hard protons with energies over 100 million volts. 100 million volts of electricity. Hard protons are good at charging spacecraft bodies, fogging their cameras, and causing reboots of onboard computers. Indeed, you can see a hint of the fog in the Soho movie above. It's only going to get worse. Each speckle you see is a hard proton striking the spacecraft's digital cameras. The EESA's Solo Orbiter, Europe's Solar Orbiter, better known as Solo spacecraft, is going to get good data on this event. A NASA model of the coronal mass ejection predicts that it will directly hit Solo on July 24th. Stay tuned for updates from the spacecraft's energetic particle detectors. It only gets worse. We're in a proton storm now. We're in a polar cap absorption event right now. And we have both a filament eruption inbound and a coronal mass ejection from an M flare inbound. Unbelievable situation we're in. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this event just occurred about 9.45 Central Time here in the U.S. And it looks like it's increasing. This is the proton storm we're in. Right now, we're seeing 10 million volts plus. It's headed up to 20 million volts. They say that they're looking at the 100 million volts headed towards the space weather threshold. Very, very scary situation. And this X flare was directed in the opposite direction of Earth, on the backside of our sun. Again, this happened about, about, it looks like 9 p.m. perhaps, central time here. And it just got worse and worse. They're saying again it was a backside eruption, probably a very strong X flare. And you can see that our polar cap absorption event, which is what you're seeing here, continues to worsen. It's now 5.50 UTC time or right about 1 a.m in the morning here centrally. Now many of you may remember this dark filament eruption associated with sunspot AR3957. You can see the dark filaments that is an inbound CME. We also have an M1.5 also another coronal mass ejection inbound and those will be hitting at some point today. That is up and above the radiation storm we're in the proton storm, and the polar cap absorption event I just showed y'all in the D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We have a one-two punch coming up and above all that. We have the dark filament followed by the M1.5. You can see the heavy plasma and solar winds again. So we're dealing with a proton storm, a radiation storm, a polar cap absorption event, and then a dark filament impact followed by a chrono mass ejection from an M1.5 solar flare. Ladies and gentlemen, this will all be happening within the next few hours. 
put your tinfoil hats on. God bless each and every one of you guys. Uh, this is probably going to get worse before it gets better. And the sunspot that produced this flare that must have been an X-class solar flare is on its way around the limb currently. Please share our video. Please subscribe and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.